I'm gonna majorly point out a flaw. You actually need to push that detent in to get that out. See, just to get it off, it's like it's not coming off easy. So you actually need to push that in, which that's ridiculous. See, once I push that in, immediately. So that, that's sad. Milwaukee, you gotta fix that. All right, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna unbox and test out the Milwaukee M12 half inch stubby. I wanted to get this so bad the 3 8 inch was available at the store, but I wanted the half inch anvil. So I got it online and they actually have a deal going on right now where you get a free battery with it. Uh, this is a two amp hour battery. I'll put this in the link in the description below. And so yeah, this was 180 bucks for the battery and the tool. All right, this is gonna be a good one because Friday, November 20th, we are gonna do a battle of the brushless live. This against the M18 stubby that just came out. All right, now the reason why we're gonna do this, I know it's 18 versus 12. Most of the comments in this video want to see these two together to see if this upgrade is worth getting since this is smaller, more compact, and it works with a 12 volt system. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and tune in. It's gonna be live. All right, but let's unbox this, take a look at the specs, and let's see if this could actually do what I want it to do. And we're also gonna test out a two amp hour battery with a four amp hour battery, and we're, we're gonna see if there's an actual power difference between these two. Then we're gonna take some uh, lug nuts off of the, my SUV and see if this could actually do it. So yeah, so let's unbox this, take a look at the specs, and get to it. So let's unbox this really quick and see what we got. Now, I always wanted one of these, but I'm glad I waited till I had the motivation to get the half inch stubby. And I got the motivation because you guys want to see a versatile video of the, between these two, and so do I now. So that's what we are going to do, and it's going to be good. It is going to be good. All right, of course, you get instructions and warranty and a catalog, and the warranty on this is five-year warranty. Tool only item, the box is empty after that. And look at that, this is awesome. This is awesome, wow, what? Is it this, almost the same size? Oh, let's line that up. The M18 is about a quarter of an inch smaller. But it, it, but it does appear to be fatter. So you, is it worth the upgrade to save a quarter of an inch, but you're, you gain fatness? That's up to you, but we are gonna see that on Friday. This is about this video. All right, so this is model number because it, like I said, has a half inch anvil on there that is not 3 eighths. Half inch socket. It does have a ring detent in there. So that's a little, what the heck? Jesus. All right, anyways, I'll get that out. This is model number 255P-20, 12-volt system, uh, four speed settings, speed one. Let's focus in. Speed two. Speed three. Then it has an auto shutoff mode. That is forward and reverse. But this thing is awesome. This thing is seriously awesome. Like I said, it's a half inch anvil. Come on, why won't you come out? Seriously, that, that just should be coming out. Yep, I, I, I'm having a tough time getting that out. I do not know why, never had this issue before. And see if you go to the M18 Yeah, the M18 comes right off. But uh, for some reason, I'm having an issue with taking this one off. Because if I have to push that in to get that out, that's going to be ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, they got to, maybe I got to more broken in. All right, so after I pushed the detent in, it came off immediately. But we're going to see what the difference is between a 2 amp hour battery and a 4 amp hour battery with a hard task. Then we're going to take off some lug nuts and see if this could actually do it easily. 
But alrighty, when it comes to this, we're only going to do a few tests with this because we're going to use the crap out of this in the, in the live stream. So I just want to do a hard test to see what the difference of the battery is. We're going to uh, just test out two six inch lags, one per battery. The battery is full. We will be using speed three. God, if that's going to be the case, dude, seriously, what the heck? Yeah, seriously. I put the wrong socket on again because I for some like you I have to push that in to get that out. You know, like the, the, I just I might need to just wear that out a little bit more. But yeah, a uh, second video in a row of using the impact wrench where I put the wrong socket on. Oh well, let's take it out. Start over. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. This one's skipping. Can I put that in? Nope, a little bit more. Time, time. That I could I could tell already that uh, there was extra vibration in that. I didn't have that much vibration in the uh, in the M18. That was that was a lot of vibration. All right, we got a four amp hour battery. Battery is full. Let's see what the difference is in time. Yep. Got another six right here. Do it right next to, sort of right next to it. All right, so ready? Go. A little bit more. I'm trying. I'm just. I'm do. I'm trying not to. Uh, I'm trying not to let the socket sink into the wood with it. Time. It did it. All right. The battery life on the four amp hour. We'll we'll test that out in a second. Let's uh, this sat for a, for a tiny bit. Let's see what the battery life on this is. Three bars. On the two amp hour, which actually this should be at full bars still. For it is full bars in the four amp hour. I do not know what the results are. I found that out during the editing of the video, but let's take it out. I will say this that I will majorly say this: the there was a lot less hesitation and vibration with the four amp hour battery. The motor continuously did the same RPM with hitting the anvil, and it was good, so my hand didn't vibrate nearly as much. So yeah, it's better to use a four amp hour battery other than a two amp hour battery when it comes to this type of stuff. But we are gonna see if a two amp hour battery can take out some uh, lug nuts. All right, let's take this out. Ready, go. All right, let's whip it. The final battery of that is two bars. Remember that this is a lot harder than taking out some lugs. So full full bars still on the four amp hour. All right, so ready? 
Go. Time, yeah, the four amp hour battery makes the tool run so much smoother than the two amp hour did, which that's that's a result right there. I do know I, I time difference I, I can I couldn't tell, but the tool ran a lot smoother with a four amp hour battery. Alrighty, so what we are gonna test out, we uh, I got my SUV up. We have a two amp hour battery. Battery is back to three bars. Let's see if a two amp hour battery could take out two of them. All right, ready? Go. Yes, it can. Im immediately, too. Immediately. All right, let's try the, the auto shutoff. Let's see if it actually stops or if it just slows down like the M18 new uh, stubby impact wrench. It is able to take it out. Actually, you need a. There we go. All right, so let's take. See, since it could do that on, with a two amp hour battery, that's pretty impressive. I got. I'm taken care of. No ooga dooga on my part when it comes to putting the lug nuts back on. Let's take the rest of them off with a. Four amp hour. Speed, let's see if we can do it on speed one. Nope, speed two. Nope, speed three. Yep, it can. Speed three. Let's try the auto shut off on the four amp hour battery. All right, ready? Go. Nope, that is not auto shut off by any means. All right, last one. Let's do the, you know, let's try it with a, a deep socket. I'm gonna majorly point out a flaw. You actually need to push that detent in to get that out. See, just to get it off, it's, like it's not coming off easy, so you actually need to push that in, which that's ridiculous. See, once I push that in, immediately. So that that's sad. Milwaukee, you gotta fix that. You gotta fix that detent. All right, let's try a deep socket. Let's see how well this works. All right, so, ready, go. Yep, you lose a little bit of torque, uh, it took a little bit more of an effort with the deep socket, but it was still able to take it out. Still able to take it out. Not too shabby. Not bad for a 12 volt tool, you guys. Like I said, I love 12 volt tools, and this is why. Because it's not only Milwaukee. You know, it's it's all the other brands make good 12 volt tools as well. Milwaukee is just the best at it. Right, let's put these on really quick. Speed one. That's good. And now I'll properly put them put them on to specs. Alrighty, so the temperature of this is still, it's still cold, it's not, that, it's not that hot. I gotta change this battery. 73, 70, 65, 45, 73 degrees. Not sure if you can see that, but it's 73, 73 degrees. It's a little crazy. This one does have a single LED light on the, on the base. This one does have a, a tri-LED beam on the front. And so yeah, but versus the video coming up. So that's pretty much it. I just want to show this tool to you guys that you can get a half inch stubby. I will put this in the link in the description below that will come with a free battery right now. So I hopefully you guys see this video to uh, click on that link. So that, so yeah, this thing's awesome though. This, this one is going to stay in my backpack in case if I need it. So that's pretty much it. Remember, please tune in on 
November 20th at 6.45 p.m. to see the Versus video. So that's pretty much it. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.